It has been over two and a half months since I recorded that last video. I am now trying to work my way back into this game because I had this crazy idea that I should finish the game before I run out of videos to upload. So I am probably going to be a little bit quiet because I don't really remember what I was doing and I don't really feel like playing this game, to be honest. I really lost interest in this game when I got into Act 3 and the city. I felt like the game just completely changed into a, a, a different game that I just wasn't interested in playing anymore. Oh, I have a crown. Okay, so there's been like six or seven or eight new versions since the last time I played. I believe I'm playing, it's like patch five, hotfix 14, something like that. What is it, middle button? Okay, right button to move, left button to move. People just randomly singing and stuff. That is okay. That moves the camera. Okay, I'm remembering now. So I had this idea that I would go back if I can figure out how to do this. Um. I had this idea that I would go all the way back to the carnival, which is on a different map? I guess it is. I, I'm going to go all the way back to Rivington, to the entrance to that carnival, because one of the last things that I remember thinking about was going back to talk to that ghoul at the entrance to the carnival to see if he was the third ghoul that I needed to track down for that quest. Really there now. You see this? Okay, that's not a quest log. Uh, J? Yes, here we go. Free the artist. Yeah, I needed to find three ghouls for the Mystic Carrion. We found a letter from a Mystic Carrion addressed to Oscar. We're still trying to deal with that artist. Um, that led to another quest. which I can't find. Find Mystic Carrion Servant. Find Thrumbo for Mystic Carrion. That's what we're trying to do. We found the zombie Morbus. He told us that Thrumbo's meeting point for them was down the stairs across the sand. We also found the zombie Lumbar. He told us that Thrumbo was going to get a boat. He must be hiding somewhere near the water. We agreed to bring Thrumbo's body back to Mystic Carrion. He told us that Thrumbo has three other zombie companions. If we find them, we might be able... They might be able to tell us where Thrumbo went. So we found two of them, and the only other ghoul that I remember was the one at the entrance to the carnival. So let's see if he's still here. Well, he threw a rock at me and said, I see him. Benji, the principal sniffer. Is this the third one? Blood in the circus without Benji. Oh, no, I guess he's not. 
Well, that was all my careful planning for two and a half months. Up in flames. Just like that. I know it's hard to enjoy the circus without dribbles, but I pray that you do. After all, the show must go on. Great. Well, that means I need to go back to the other place. I should arrest you all for well, I'm already... Uh, I'm already upset with the game and I want to quit. <laughs> it's been... Uh, five minutes and I'm already ready to quit for another two and a half months. What do you... How do I get back to where I was? I don't know where I'm going. I just clicked on something randomly and it doesn't show me where I'm going. So here we go. I was determined to stay positive during this recording because I wasn't happy with how negative I sounded in the last recording. <laughs> I was really, I was really annoyed with the game <laughs> toward the end there, toward those last few videos. I was just so annoyed because it just felt like I wasn't doing anything except wandering around aimlessly, trying to find any sort of breadcrumb to progress the game forward. Uh... Hey, I know. Let's go avenge the drowned. Let's go down here to uh, search the flim cargo for the beast's master. Why do I hear sounds happening over here? Is that Salamander? Are they actually doing something now? Last time I was here, they were just standing there. Now they're... <laughs> Great, isn't it? These are just cantrips. I can keep this up all day. You said that last time. Okay, well, I'm going to go find that warehouse. I think I'm in the right vicinity now. I haven't talked to these guys in a while. Let's see if they have anything to say. What's on your mind? Um... We've been given a rare gift. An astral touch tadpole. With the power to grant you a new partial illithid form. I can only imagine what I could do were I to adopt the biology of a mind flayer. You've not taken this power for yourself. So I can only wonder... Why offer it to me? Well, never mind. It was just a dialogue option. What's on your mind? Oh, nothing. The Emperor has offered us a special tadpole. We'll become partial mind flayers, but we'll get great powers in, in return. Special tadpole? <laughs> Bit of a contradiction in terms, don't you think? I don't even want a regular one. You're talking about turning into what? A half squid? Not surprised you haven't tried it yourself yet. Okay, okay, you caught me. <sighs> Thank the gods. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. What about you, Shadowheart? All's well, I hope, aside from the obvious. I think that special tadpole the Emperor offered will increase our chances of success. More likely it would just put a stop to us. I wanted nothing to do with those illithid powers before. What makes you think I'd want to jump into an even deeper hole? You know what that offer truly entails, don't you? Become half a Mind Flayer, lose half of yourself. I don't want that. All right, all right. Very well. Well, everybody's dead set against that. 
All right, let's barge into this warehouse. I have literally no idea what's going to happen. Oh, we have to break in. Hmm, and we're surrounded by people watching. How do we do that? Well, it looks like this is going to be a waste of time. Unless... Unless we can get on the roof. Ha-ha! This did not help us at all. Oh, there is a door over here, though. We could... I think we could make it there. Um, who's got the... Who's got that feather fall? Excellent choice. Never a dull moment. Jump. Okay, that's not what I wanted to happen. And the camera is betraying me. Still alive, so that's progress. Can we get everyone else down here? Let's enter turn-based mode so we don't run out of time for this. Don't burn yourself. No one back home will ever believe this. Okay, now, let's quick save just in case, and now, we try to remember how to pick a lock. I think we just right click and unlock it. Wait, we should probably sneak first. Uh, that's that. My hand slipped. Okay, pick lock. Lock pick. Don't keep me out. Sleight of hand check. Let's add guidance. And go. DC 15. It's a natural 20. First roll back after two and a half months. It's a natural 20. Okay, now we need Shadowheart. What am I to do? You are to what hide again. See? Taking my time in the shadows. I just want a little look. What is in here? Oh. Rippers and gristle and snarl and cuddle face. Hmm should mind my step. The journal has been updated inside of Flim Cargo. We entered Flim Cargo, but apart from wargs, have encountered no beasts of note. We should keep exploring inside. Do we kill the wargs? Are there any trap doors? Oh, I see a body over there. All right, everyone. I think we should go kill the wargs. Soldier. Soldier. Uh-oh. Well, so much for the sneaky approach. We are now fighting because Karlak was just spotted. 
Uh, okay, so let's get everybody into this battle. Um, Shadowheart is gonna cast a... Oh, wow. Level 5 Flame Strike. That seems excessive for four wargs. What about... Um, how about just a, a plain old, um... A plain old firebolt on this cuddle face. With advantage, it's a critical hit for 41 points of damage. Damn. Gale is also going to cast a firebolt on Cuddleface with advantage. That's another critical hit for another 47 points of damage. Cuddleface is incinerated. And Tavi is still hidden. So Tavi is going to... Um, what do we have here? There's another couple of them down there. Let's try... Uh, let's just try a plain old uh, crossbow attack on Snap down there. That's a hit for 14 damage. Okay, now it's Carlac's turn. Carlac's just gonna run. First, she's gonna jump. And then she's gonna run and hit Gristle. That's a hit for 14 damage with her second attack. She needs to go reckless and hits for 15 damage. Gristle is half dead already. And that'll be the end of her turn. No choice but to keep going. Tavi has used up her her action. So she's just gonna stay put there. She, well, she is gonna do a Bardic Inspiration on Carlac. Be stronger than ever. No! She jumped down off the ledge, so now she's vulnerable. That's great. Did not want to do that. They're all dashing. Carlac gets an opportunity attack. Hits Ripper for 11 points of damage. Um, Gristle is trying to bite Carlac. Tavi does a cutting words. Causes a miss. Shadowheart's turn. Facing off against Ripper. A level 2 warg. Um, I believe she's just gonna stab him. But she doesn't have an action left. Hmm, okay. So with her bonus action, she will do... Shars Aegis... To, inc to uh, encase herself with a shimmering field to increase her armor class. Because she's gonna fight melee style. One can't always be a gentleman. Gale is stuck here with the Ripper, so he is probably going to do... Um... A Shocking Grasp, which is a cantrip, I think? Why can't we do... He doesn't have an action either because we used our action before the combat. So with his bonus action, he will... What? He can't do anything with his bonus action. He's just gonna stand there, I guess. Has he cast Mage Armor? I don't think he has, but he can't cast it now anyway. Karlak is going into a wild magic rage with her bonus action, surrounded by three wargs.
Wild Magic Surge, an extra 1 to 6 damage. Okay, so she's just gonna swing away at... First at Gristle, who is half dead. That is a hit for 20 damage. Second attack. Um, she's gonna use a Bardic Inspiration instead of a Reckless Attack. And hits and kills one warg. Three remaining wargs in the fight. Where do I go from here? Tavi is probably gonna jump down on the ground here. And um, let's do a uh, let's do a vicious mockery cantrip on Snarl the Warg. For you, a horned chief. Twelve points of damage, and they now have disadvantage on their next attack. And with her bonus action, she will do another Bardic Inspiration on Karlak. And she'll get some temporary hit points, too. Ooh, a warg strikes at Shadowheart, but misses. A warg strikes at Karlak and hits. Karlak has an unstoppable backlash. Which could trigger another wild magic effect, but I kind of like the one I have, so I'm not going to do that. Another warg misses Karlak. Shadowheart's turn, she is going to stabby stab at Ripper. Hits for six points, gonna add a divine strike of poison for another three points of damage. And that's it. That's all she's gonna do. A rough tempest I will raise. Gale will cast a shocking grasp upon this Ripper the Warg. A critical hit for 30 points of damage. That Ripper Warg is four points away from death. But not quite dead yet. Karlak surrounded by two wargs, strikes at one of them. Uh, is going to use... rolls a natural one, so she's going to use her executioner reaction to gain advantage and instead gets a critical hit for 27 points of damage. Swings a second time. Hits and kills Snap the warg, leaving her facing off against one more warg. Survival is all that matters. Tavi will uh, fire a crossbow at the other warg facing. No, actually, she's going to. Whoops, no, nope. she's going to not press escape because that's the wrong key. She's going to jump up on this box and take a shot at Ripper up here with Shadowheart and Gale. But misses. Nice try. I've forgotten all these characters' names. Ripper tries to bite Shadowheart. Tavi's gonna use cutting words to try to stop it. And does. Karlak takes nine points of damage from a warg. Shadowheart stabs at Ripper with her spear, hits and kills it. Only one warg remaining. Gone with the weave. Gale will now attempt to use a firebolt on the last remaining warg. A critical hit kills that warg. All wargs dispatched. Man, that was a lot of critical hits everything. in that fight. Um, okay. Well, that was, that was pretty, pretty straightforward for my first combat back after two and a half months. We'll pick up these warg tongues. 
Whatever we can do with those. Let's have a look. And let's see, there's a guide to taming wargs over here. <laughs> a little late for that book. Chapter 10, a summary. Wargs are smart, probably smarter than you. Never forget it. They'll hunt in packs, but only if they like each other. Best mix is some quiet types and other aggros. Keep each other calm-like. Never let them taste meat you don't want them to go for all the time. People, never ever. Don't play favorites. They're very sensitive. <laughs> That's funny. Poor Cuddleface. He was incinerated right away. Let's take his warg fang. Um, there's a trunk over here? I guess we're searching for clues? There's another book down here. The Archduke's Leadership Protection. Here we go. A pamphlet by the Gortash for Archduke Voluntary Campaign. As Archduke, Lord Gortash's top priority will be protection, the physical defense of Baldur's Gate and its citizens. No policy can be more important. Sure. I vaguely remember having a stack of 50,000 books in a trunk somewhere, but I'm not going to pick them up anymore. Oh, Gale failed a perception check. Aha! Uh -huh. There's a basement underneath these boxes. First, let's go check out this corpse up here. Appears to be moided. A dead goblin. with a goblin scimitar. Hmm, wait. Wait. Still. We can speak to the dead. The corpse has nothing to say. Or we could not speak to the dead. Also an option in this situation. Onward then. I guess we're just going to go into the basement. Move the boxes. And crates and what have you. Quick save. And down we go. Into the Flim Cargo's basement. The journal has been updated. Flim Cargo has a hidden basement, but we found it contained neither beast nor master. We should keep exploring the warehouse. Oh, okay, it told us what we found before we even took a single step. Interesting. I guess the point is that we go through the door to the detention block. Oh, there's a locked metal crate here. What to do? I would Better like to open. open it. DC 10, no problem. Rolls a 9, plus 11 is 20. Inside, we have an underwater facility plan. Page after page within this book is covered with diagrams and schematics of a pressurized underwater research facility to be built in Grey Harbor atop the sunken stone structure of Saravok's Iron Throne headquarters. What could it mean? 
I genuinely don't know. Oh, there's a, there's a, there is actually a pump room lever here. I'm not sure if I should... I mean, the obvious thing to do would be to turn the, turn the wheel of the pump room and see what happens, but... Feels like that might be a mistake. Instead, let's... Than a whisper. Let's enter the detention block. Who is detained here? I thought I saw somebody in here, but I guess not. I just see a bunch of empty cells and another door to the machine parts storage. Let's see what you're hiding. A greasy, smelly climb down, it says over here. And there's a ladder. What? Better not be cursed. Do I go to the ladder, or do I go to the greasy, smelly climb down? The ladder seems like it's going to take me back out to the surface, and then there's this machine parts storage door. Let's check this out first. Definitely looks like machine parts. Thieves tools just lay in here. And an infernal iron. Probably too heavy. A subaquatic dock. Uh-huh. Red Hammer the Divisor, level 11. And there's a submarine-looking thing under there. I think we found... What level are my characters? <laughs> I forgot. Uh, how do I find that out? Seriously, what level am I? Level 10. Ah, oh, we can take this level 11 guy. Right? I don't see anybody else waiting to ambush us. I think we should just charge into battle and kill him. Gale should come up here and With ease. cast Hold Person on him. Uh-oh. Saving the game. Unexpectedly. Uh, what level is Hold Person? Do 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 do. Where's Hold Person? I know I have hold person somewhere. Ugh. It's gonna take me an hour to find the spell that I want to cast. Is it level two? Oh, I do want to cast mage armor. 
Mage armor is like a cantrip, isn't it? The, I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe I should stay crouched forever. Carefully now. Uh, no, no, no. I did not mean to click on Shatterheart. I was trying to come over here to cast Hold Person. Oh, I could cast Minor Illusion. Somebody in my party has Hold Person. I'm 100% sure of that. How do I find that out? <laughs> How does this game work? Who has hold person? Hold. We have a scrolls of hold person. Do I just have to hover the mouse over every single one of these spells until I see hold person? I guess that's what I have to do. Because it doesn't give me names of spells. Aid, warning, spiritual weapons, islands, prayer of healing. You gotta be kidding me. Aha! Uh -huh. Shadow Heart has a second level hold, hold person. But it is not prepared. Great. Okay, so now we know what it looks like. It's a square with a little person inside. Um, nobody else has the little square with the little person inside. Wait. Gale does have a second level hold person spell. I knew it. How much longer will this take? Okay, so... I think he's too far away, though. Yeah, way too far away. So, we're gonna go into turn-based mode. I can be subtle sometimes. Tavi's gonna cast Minor Illusion down here to draw him closer. First step is the hardest. Okay, she's walking. And then we're gonna wait. Cloak and dagger. My favorite. For the guy it's to walk it's closer. Why am I doing this? The cat stands there. The little dwarf runs up to the cat. And now Gale with the weave. will now cast Hold Person. Except the target is out of sight now. That's that's fantastic. It's really just great. Great work. It shall be done. This is not working, is it? Not in yeah, it's not working. Uh, it's freaking great. Everything's great. Bother. Cat's just standing there. Um. Well, why don't we just start out with a Tasha's hideous laughter? Wait, wait, wait! I don't need to attack this guy. He's... he's neutral. <laughs> I just realized he's neutral. What am I doing? Everybody can just stand up and we can go talk to the guy. Keeping my head down. At the ready. Hello, Mr. Redhammer. Oi! What's this? You ain't supposed to be down here, mate. You spot a curious metal contraption in the water. A submersible. Hmm. <laughs> I 
I'm the new municipal waterway inspector under Lord Gortash. DC 18. Let's cast friends to get advantage. And uh, guidance. And roll the dice. We got a lot of pluses. Oh, we got this. 15. Plus a million is 30. No one tells me anything. Last I heard, Lord Gortash handles this port's inspections personally. Anyway, if you're in charge of the waterways, you've got a lot of work to do. Those humbly servants are making the trip to the Iron Throne damn near deadly. Bloody salt is always flopping around in the water. I've almost hit one or two now. Might have even nicked one off the port bow the other day. Maybe that'll teach them to keep out of the way. Um... What goes on in the Iron Throne? You're testing me. O all right. It's an underwater prison, most secure in the realms. Myself and Cap are the only ones who can make it there in one piece. Lord Gortash keeps some Gondians there. Collateral to keep those working in the Steel Watch Foundry under control. Oh, you know, as it happens, I'll be needing a ride to the Iron Throne, as, you know, part of my inspection. Do you now? Boss never sends anyone that away but prisoners. Well, I don't know what to tell you. He sent me ahead and said your payment would follow. DC 25. I have advantage from friends. And I have guidance. I have plus 11 plus a d4. And let's get a bolstering magic boon from Karlak as well. A total bonus of 13 to 19. Oh, we got this. 15. Plus a bunch is 34. Huh. Not like him to surprise me, but... Mad times. I'll take you in. But look, there's some bad shit going down in there. You don't want to get involved. Neither did I, but it was them, or me. I'll get Cat warmed up. Get in when you're ready. Oh, yeah. We did it. We spared Redhammer Umberley's wrath for now, and have charged him with taking us to Gortash's Iron Throne. Redhammer the Divisor confessed that he often accidentally bumps into water servants, wave servants. Sounds like he could be Holly's killer, though not intentionally. We found the Beast, a metal submersible craft, and its master, Redhammer the Divisor. If we want to fulfill our promise to Alondra, he has to die. Well, but can we go check out the Iron Throne first? Then we'll kill him? What exactly is an Iron Throne, anyway? Are you sure you want to take the submersible to the Iron Throne? Yes? After a quick save? Submersible, gliding through the dark depths of the Grey Harbor. Aren't you the intrepid little adventurer, digging and diving where you don't belong? Oh, what are you doing here? The Iron Throne, a ruin from the city's dark past, 
that could become a template for a brighter future. It is a most useful tool for motivating my Gondian workforce. Key to the construction of the steel watch that keep the city safe. But like all tools, the moment it ceases to be useful, I will break it. Thanks to your trespassing, that moment may have come. Return to the docks, or the deaths of everyone inside will be on your conscience. How many people are trapped within? How many lives will be lost? Hmm, I'm going to go ahead and dock at the Iron Throne, Gortash. That was a mistake. When the corpses start to wash up on the shore, remember, you could have prevented all of this. anyone and we're in the submersible um so mr redhammer what what just happened oh oh things have happened here Despite Gortash's warning, we docked at the Iron Throne. True to his words, Gortash triggered a mechanism that activated the destruction of his secret base. The bargain is no more. Whoopsie. Well... I guess we have to kill him now. But first we have to figure out how to disable the Steel Watch Foundry. Um, okay, cool. All right, we're good to go. Well, where are we going? What are, what are we doing? Should we go? What? What? What do we do? I don't know what to do. Do we kill Mr. Redhammer? What's in the middle hatch? Hold. A cold, suckering wetness grasps at your mind. A voice familiar to you from the Underdark wraps itself around your brain. You must act with haste. Duke Ravenguard is held within these walls. He must be extracted. Omulum? Is that you? Normally, I would find your people's lust for pleasantries amusing. Unfortunately, we have no time. There are many hostages here. Duke Ravenguard, chief among them. He needs your help. Mm, tell me what to do. Duke Ravenguard is held in the security wing. Be careful. There are many hazards. This structure is collapsing. Act with speed. Act with efficiency. Good luck. Oh. And battle has commenced, and we have five turns to escape to the submersible dock before the Iron Throne collapses. Okay. How? Are we supposed to do that? Well, this seems like a good cliffhanger moment. Ob Obelia Tubin is one of the prisoners, it seems. And apparently Duke Ravenguard is in here somewhere. But where? And how would we find out in five turns? And how do we get them out in five turns? 
I have like one dimension door. Shadowheart can do a dimension door. That's about it. I don't, there's no way. This place is so big. <laughs> there is no way that we can get everybody out. Well, that'll be a problem for next time. <laughs>